January 28, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Diligent Christian Life, and our scripture is Philippians chapter 2. Paul writes, Dear friends, you always followed my instructions when I was with you, and now that I'm away, it's even more important. Work hard to show the results of your salvation, obeying God with deep reverence and fear. For God is working in you, giving you the desire and power to do what pleases Him. Do everything without complaining and arguing so that no one can criticize you. Live clean, innocent lives as children of God, shining like bright lights in a world full of crooked and perverse people. Hold firmly to the word of life. Then on the day of Christ's return, I will be proud that I did not run the race in vain and that my work was not useless. But I will rejoice even if I lose my life, pouring it out like a liquid offering to God, just like your faithful service is an offering to God. And I want all of you to share that joy. Yes, you should rejoice, and I will share your joy. The diligent Christian life may seem rather dull by worldly standards. TV or the big screens, novels, and current media trends show exciting stuff as what makes for a great life, going here and there, being powerful and noticed often on Facebook, or being the best looking, richest, or the most influential in today's culture. By comparison with worldly standards, a Jesus follower is tame and judged boring. Question: Can the world ever get things more wrong? Now it's obvious that the church, imperfect as it is, doesn't always get things right. But the message of the head of the church is one of peace and life, not violence and death. The so-called more interesting life, according to worldly standards, has quite the opposite message. We live in a time of unprecedented and escalating violence and anger. A news report listed a total of 11,843 homicides from 1999 to 2016 in the U.S. An average of nearly 700 deaths by shooting per year. By comparison, the disciplined Christian life is a study in the opposite of self-interest, personal pleasure, and getting angry if you don't get what you want. Rather, it's a preoccupation with preserving and protecting life and being gentle with others always, even if you must give up your rights to do so. Here's how the head of the church stated that categorically. Take my yoke upon you, let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For you today. The disciplined Christian life may seem tame, unassuming, and less than scintillating to the worldly mind. However, it's hardly boring to the one who gives self over to Christ, has his mind open to the Master, who in his beauty and majesty is powerfully changing the future into a time where lambs can lie down with the lions and swords will be beaten into plowshares. That, for any violence-weary mind, is as exciting as it gets. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.